Find the vertex and the intercepts for f of x equal to negative x squared minus 6x minus 5 and then graph the function. So to find the vertex, we can find the x coordinate by plugging into minus b over 2a. Well, we know that b is negative 6. We'll have minus a minus 6 over 2 times a, which is negative 1. So this will be 6 over negative 2. So x is negative 3. So let's find the y component or the f of x component. So we want to find f of negative 3, which we'll be plugging negative 3 in place of x. We'll have minus a negative 3 squared minus 6 times negative 3 minus 5. Well, this will be 9, but that negative will make it a negative 9 plus 18 minus 5. So we'll have negative 9 plus 18 is 9 minus 5 is 4. So that's f of negative 3. So our vertex will be negative 3 comma 4. So now we need to find our intercepts. Well, let's first, to find our x-intercepts, let's set our equation equal to 0. So if we multiply through by negative 1, we'll have 0 is equal to x squared plus 6x plus 5. So if we factor that, we'll have x plus 5, x plus 1. And if you set x equal to 0, you get x equals to negative 5 and negative 1. So that our x-intercepts are negative 5, 0, and negative 1, 0. So now that we've found our x-intercepts, let's find our y-intercept. To find our y-intercept, y is going to equal, let's put 0 in place of x. So we'll have minus 0 squared, minus 6 times 0, minus 5. So the y-intercept is equal to negative 5. So our y-intercept is 0, negative 5. Now let's use this information to graph our equation. We know our vertex is negative 3, 4. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. Be here is our vertex. We know that our y-intercept is 0, negative 5. And we know that our x-intercepts are negative 1, 0 and negative 5, 0. So negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. So we can connect the points and get our parabola. So this is the graph of f of x equal to negative x squared minus 6x minus 5.